Red. Feels good. That was some great spicy bread. Chef Brian Sow here, not your typical chef, and no, I am not related to Patrick Stewart. We both just so happen to be bald, have amazing stage voices. And well, that's really it. That's the only similarities we have. It's not that impressive. That mother eats pizza with a knife and fork. Who the f eats a pizza with a knife and fork? I mean, you cannot trust a person who eats pizza with a knife and fork. Popeyes. Once I say Popeyes, I right away think of eating spinach, getting strong, fighting Bruno, saving olive oil. But no, we are talking about Popeyes, the fast food chain, the fried chicken chain, a chain that has absolutely nothing to do with the cartoon Popeyes. Hey guys, I just wanted to take a really quick minute to play plug my latest run of merch that can be found on my website, chefbriansal.com. This latest run is called Not Your Typical, the idea being focused around your unique individuality and positive mental attitude. In an era where social media has completely distorted our views of what beauty and success is, it was necessary to put out a message that really focuses on the struggle, the journey, what it takes to get to your destination. And what does that take? A positive mental attitude and being unique and true to yourself. We have snapbacks, face masks, t-shirts. It can all be found on chefbriansau.com. Now, back to our regular programming. Now, before I go on, I just want to mention that I am a professional chef with 16 years of experience. None of these episodes are sponsored by any restaurants. I pay for all these items with my own money, and I make sure to have a little something in my stomach so that hunger doesn't affect my grading at the end. With that said, let's dive right in. So I ordered the spicy fried chicken sandwich meal. It came with a soda, came with the side. I chose to have their Cajun fries and the spicy fried chicken. I did that purposely to be extremely awkward. Once I looked at the packaging, I really liked it a lot. It came in this paper box, which is not grease stained. Nice touch. The sandwich came in this tin foil bag to insulate heat. It'll also trap moisture, may make the breading around the chicken soft. And then the sandwich was found in another bag so that you don't have to hold the product with your bare hands and your fingers don't get greasy. Let's take a look at this sandwich. That appears to be potato bread. It is sunk. It's toasted quite nicely on the inside of the bun, both top and bottom. A spicy mayo sauce, a piece of fried chicken. I can tell that there's some spices within that breading as well. A couple of big slices of pickles. Overall, it's a very simple sandwich. Bread feels good, doesn't feel super, super soft. One of my complaints about a lot of these fast food chains is they use a bread that is too soft, and while it may be delicious on the first bite, it just does not hold up. If you have the sandwich 10 minutes later, it's probably gonna squash down, it's probably gonna absorb a lot of the juices, it just kind of falls apart on you. This is probably some of the prettiest bread I've seen on this show thus far. <clears throat> I'm gonna take my first bite, Had my first bite. It has a good amount of spice. This is definitely not spicy enough for me, but it's good. It's got just enough kick. The breading really wasn't crispy anymore. I really think it's because they put it into this bag, they fold it up, it traps in that moisture really tight, and it's just not going to allow the excess moisture to escape, and that's gonna be reabsorbed by the breading. The cut of chicken used for this sandwich is the breast meat. And for me personally, I would have preferred the thigh meat. I'm finding myself wanting that moist, dark meat flavor, and while this is not completely dry, it is still comparatively on the drier side. There is a good amount of sauce in there, but I kind of feel like if you're gonna go with breast meat, it's gonna need even more. Don't quote me on this, all the chicken I've had from Popeyes in the past tends to be 
slightly juicier. However, the protein itself is also slightly salted. One method of imparting salt into the protein itself is by submerging it into a flavorful liquid, the process of brining. A brining mixture can really be whatever you want it to be, but generally it's water, salt, and sometimes sugar. Normally, a piece of chicken breast that is this thick, cooked well done, will get dry. But by brining, you definitely prevent that from happening because you've artificially pumped up the protein with more moisture. And when I say artificially, I don't mean to say that in a negative way. I'm two thirds done with this sandwich. I just find myself desiring more pickle. I want more pickle or acidity or cut or texture and I'm just not getting it from this pickle. There's either gotta be more or you gotta give me a better quality pickle. That's a pretty thick cut pickle by fast food standards, but again, yeah. Yeah. There's no more chicken left in this sandwich, so I'm not gonna finish the rest of that. I didn't find anything particularly special about this sandwich. However, there was nothing particularly bad. The fried chicken was, in all fairness, a nice, hearty, thick piece of chicken. It had a good amount of sauce, and I did genuinely enjoy that spicy mayo sauce. The only outstanding part of this sandwich was the bread. And this is not the spicy potato bread sandwich. This is supposed to be the spicy fried chicken sandwich. Sure, you gave me all the components that it says in the name, but I should not be walking away from a spicy fried chicken sandwich going, that was some great spicy bread. For $10.29 after tax, well, visually I can say, sure, all right, yeah, that's a good package. And then when I taste it, it's like, I'm not upset by this. Here I go again. I just keep going back to the same mediocre theme. That's what it is. That's what this sandwich is. It's just big box of mediocre. You see this? This is great packaging. And then you open it up and it goes, Mediocre? Who the fuck are you calling mediocre? I don't know why the box spoke with an English accent, but whatever. I feel like if the R&D kitchen at the corporate puke Popeye's office maybe did two or three more iterations, they could have really come out with a banging sandwich. But instead, the corporate pukes were panicking and saying, we have to put this to market. We must make more profit for our shareholders and get our market share back. <laughs> so one out of 10, what do I give it? One being that time you went to the doctors and got a shot for the first time and saw this gigantic needle point at your arm and freaking inject you and you thought that you were gonna bleed to death. Wait, wait, wait. Shannon, we don't have time. Let's go. Let's go. Or 10 being afterwards, you get a Power Rangers band aid. Go, go, Power Rangers. I give Popeye's spicy fried chicken sandwich their answer to losing market share in the fried chicken universe. I give it a four and a half. Guys, if you like this content and you want to see more, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, share with your friends. In the comments below, I want to know what you want to see me review on the next I Tried so you don't have to. Guys, I am Chef Brian Sow, not your typical chef, and I'll see you next week. Up to that point, the only fried chicken fast food chain restaurants I had were KFC and Roy Rogers. KFC still going strong today and Roy Rogers being a truck stop staple. For me personally, it kind of felt like Popeyes popped out of nowhere. And from that moment on, Popeye's fried chicken to me was regarded as the best fried chicken. That is, until KFC. No, not that KFC. Korean fried chicken, motherfucker! But Korean fried chicken is a topic for another day. Shit. <laughs>